Hi, this is question number six taken from Cambridge Advanced Level Maths, uh, Probability and Statistics. Question number six uh, for June 2015. Uh, in a certain country, 68% of the households have a printer. Find the probability that in a random sample of eight households, five, six, or seven households have a printer. And for the second part, we need to use an approximation uh, to find the probability that in a random sample of 500, uh, 500 households, more than 337 households have a printer. Also, we need to justify uh, the use of the approximation in part two. Right, okay, let's move on to do the uh, first part of the question. All right, we are told that there's 68% uh, of the households have a printer. So the probability of uh, people having a printer okay is uh, probability of success of having a printer is 68 percent it is 0 0.68 the probability of failure then uh, it's two outcomes that people not having print not having a printer would be one minus this so if you take one you minus zero decimal six eight you're going to get zero decimal three two we need to find the probability that five six or seven households have a printer probability of five six or seven now clearly speaking this is a binomial distribution so we're going to do the binomial distribution okay five people out of how many households out of um, eight households so n is equal to eight all right so therefore eight c five okay having a printer the chances are 0 0.8 for these five households and not having for the rest is uh, 0 decimal 3 2 8 minus 5 is 3 plus 8 C then we have 6 all right and the probability of having it is 0 0.68 to the power of 6 times not having it 0 0.32 to the power of 8 minus 6 which is 2 and also plus 8 C um, 7 0 decimal 6 8 to the power of 7 times 0 decimal 3 2 to the power of 8 minus 1 which is 1 all right so if we do that on a calculator let's move on okay so uh, for the first one is uh, 8 um, right C 5 it's going to give us 56 times so this minus 6 8 to the power of 5 times um, 0 decimal 3 2 to the power of 3 that's 0 decimal 2 6 6 7 9 so 0 decimal 2 6 6 7 9 7 something plus the second one is 8 c 6 times um, 0 decimal 6 8 to the power of 6 times 0 0.32 okay to the power of uh, 2 so that's 0 decimal 2 8 3 4 7 2 and something plus um, then we have 8 C sorry 8 C 7 times 0 decimal 6 8 to the power of 7 times 0 0.32 to the power of 1 so 0 decimal 172 108 something we're going to add that to add all these probabilities and we come up to approximately 0 0.722 so the answer to this question then is 0 to small 7 to, to, to 3 significant figures. First part. Now, <coughs> sorry, for the second part, uh, we need to use, the use, use an approximation to find the probability that in a random um, sample of 500 households, more than two, 337 households have a printer. Now to use an approximation, first of all we need to find NP. And out of how many households? We have 
5 so n is equal to 5 what is np so np is going to be 0 decimal 68 times 500 and that's going to give us 340 then we have nq nq is 0 0.32 0 0.32 times 500 so 500 times 0 decimal 32 is going to give us 160 and over here we got np and nq all right being greater than 5 and therefore we approximate to to a normal distribution now when we do that okay we need to find out okay what 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 is the question requirement so we've got to find p of x being greater than 337 households so over here we're going to use the continuity correction and for that if it is greater then you need to standardize say p z of being greater than 337 decimal 5 minus the mean now for the mean it's quite easy because uh, this is a normal distribution now so it's np and npq all right and we know that the mean is np so 340 divided by the variance npq so what is npq npq is going to be um, 500 times 0 decimal 68 times 0 decimal 32 so and if you do that in a calculator you're going to come up to 108 decimal 8 therefore you divide by the square root of 108 decimal 8 and if you do that okay you're going to end up with p of z being greater than all right so let's do it 337.5 minus 340 and all of that divided by the square root of um, 108 decimal 8 so we're dealing with a negative number minus 0 0.2396 and so on therefore if we have to look at it on the normal distribution curve it's going to be on this side and that is greater so minus a we are dealing with p of z being great greater than minus a so basically what we're going to do we're going to reflect this shaded region on the other side and they're going to re reflect back here so that's going to be p of z being less than a because we look at the left hand side anyway all right now it's just a question of looking at the value of this from your table so we're dealing with xi of 0 decimal 239 so 0 decimal 2396 sorry right okay so let's take a look I'm sure this is quite easy now most of the questions been done so 0 decimal 239 okay let's look at 0 decimal 2 and we have 3 okay which is 0 0.5 nine one zero so that's uh, zero point five nine one zero and then nine in the last column we have 35 so we're going to add up to okay here we are these are the values you add this up point five nine okay one plus so this zero 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 three five, and the answer should be zero point five nine four five, zero point five nine four five, and you give that to three significant figures. Therefore, the probability is going to be then of x being greater than three hundred and thirty-seven. All right, that's going to be zero decimal five nine five, and here we are to three sf. For the last part of the question. This is one mark. Justify your use of an approximation. I think we did this in the first, in the second part already. Okay, so we're just going to say because um, NP and NQ 
are greater than 5. Therefore, that is enough for us to use the approximation. So I hope that helps.